prophesy. Prophesy. Can I prophesy? Prophesy. Prophets give messages from God through prophecy to people. But the heart of man is full of dirt. But sometimes question the content of the prophecy. Forgetting what the scripture says in Isaiah 55 verse 10 to 11. For as the rain coming down and the snow from heaven and returning not thither but water the earth that it may and making it bring forth that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. So shall my word be that going forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I pleased. It shall prosper in the things where thou hast sent it. The voice of the prophet is the voice of God. Whatever I speak must always come to pass with full proof and short testimonies. But not always so with a prophet that is not truly called by God. But the prophet which has presumed to speak a word in my name, which have not commanded him to speak, or that shall speak in the name of other gods, even that prophet shall die. And if thou shalt say in the heart, how shall we know the words which the Lord God has not spoken? But when a prophet speaketh in the name of the Lord, if the thing follow not, not come to pass, that is the thing that the Lord hath not spoken. Prophet hath spoken it presumptuously. Thou shalt not be afraid of him. Prophet, don't presume. They speak with authority what the Lord has put in their mouth. God's servant, Senior Prophet Jeremiah Omotufu Fein, has spoken prophetically to different people at different occasions. Talking about their past, their present, and their future. But what comes after their prophecies is what matters. Thank God for being a true prophet. For every of his words he says must hear positive result in the lives of many that encounter him. In this program, the result, you will be seeing those that have come to receive prophetic message from the prophet, coming back to give their short testimony, the result of the prophecy. No wonder the psalmist said in Psalm 93 verse 5, that testimonies are very sure and they receive their short testimony. So no matter what you are going through in life, if the man of God prophesies to you, you must get your short sure result, the result of the prophecy. Where there is a prophet, there is profit. That is the short sure result. You can doubt the prophecy, but you cannot doubt the result. Professor! Mercy land. I renew solution and power. Mercy land. I renew solution and power. My name is Wina Alfred. Okay. The person standing beside me is my lovely husband. This man. Okay. Then the rest persons are my brothers and sisters and family friends. What's the name of that your husband? Alfred is going to be. Okay. All right, the people are standing beside him. Who are those people? They are my sisters and brothers okay. and family friends. The problem that brought me to Mercy Land was problem of barrenness. Barrenness? Yes, sir. No baby, no child. <laughs> no baby, no kululu, no kalala. No children. No fruit of the womb. Everywhere dried. Uh -huh. I was married for 16 years. No issue. How many years? 16 good years. One six good years. Yes. Sir. One six completed. No child. Yes. Sir. Your womb was zero. Yes, sir. And do you go to hospital? Many hospitals, many. You've gone to many hospitals. Many. About home, church, okay. many places. Oh, you go to those yeah, yeah, people, people, people. Yes, sir. Spiritual is the abalist. Yes, sir. Juju men. Mm. In order to carry a baby. Yes, sir. Oh no. 
No child. No, no 16 child. good years. Yes, sir. And what people ask you, what people tell you when you hmm. don't have ch child? Different kind of stories. Some say that I have spiritual husband. Okay. Different kind of things. <laughs> so how do you feel when that time when they were te te telling you all those things? I, I always cried. Okay. I cried just almost every day. Whenever I see people with pregnancy, I feel sad. So now, now I think the people, men, women that who are looking for babies in a house of their husbands, their husbands' houses, I think they are listening. Now you are telling them that 16 good years you don't have baby. Yes. And your husband tried his best. Yes. To give you a baby, yes. but no way. Yes. Sir. Doctors tried. Yes. Sir. Herbalists tried. Yes. To an extent you were confused. You've gone yes. to herbalist. Yes, sir. So how how many did you come to this place? Mm. <laughs> when you come, when you came to Bayasa. Okay, I've gone to Bayasa. Yeah, for a crusade. Okay. You walk up to me and you called me out. And I called you out. Yes. You give me a prophecy. You say, Madam, stand mm. up. Okay. How many abortion have you done in your life? Mm. <laughs> yes, I cannot say because I wonder say, how how many that is I was shocked when you called me out. Mm. And you now say you, you told me that's open father, open and close. I begin to open my leg and I close. You demonstrated. It. You demonstrated yes, it. Yes. You follow the man of God. Yes, sir. And you were looking for baby. Yes. And you now ask me how many abortions? Mm. You say you are hearing six. I say yes. Okay. <laughs> so after the prophecy, okay, the prophecy you now, you now you told me that I should ask for forgiveness from God. God is angry with you. Mm. Then. I, I say, God, forgive me. Whenever sin has been committed, God, please forgive me. Wipe away my tears, God of Jeremiah. I prayed. Then after the, pro after the program, I went home. Last um, fruit of the womb program, I was here. I must carry my son. Yes, I must carry my son. I was here. Mm. Then the crusade ground, I vowed to my God. I said, God of Jeremiah, this is my last bus stop. My coming back to mercy land, I want to come and testify as others are testifying, God. Please do it for me. So, behold, two months after, I became pregnant. Oh, power! Oh! One more, one more. You became what? Pregnant. Before then, after the pregnant. program, Man of God appeared to me in my dream. He called me out. Say, Madam, your problem is over. Don't cry again. When I get up, I say, God, I thank you. I know you are going to do it for me. And after two months, I became pregnant of this baby, beautiful baby girl. Oh, power! <laughs> Where do you see the baby? Let me see. Okay, this is how you listen. Sir. How many children are you? No, eh? no one, sir. Are you married? Yes, sir. You are married? Yes, sir. Please. Yes, sir. Ask of forgiveness. Yes, sir. Ask of forgiveness. Yes, sir. Do like this. Fais ainsi. Do like this. Ouvre les gens. Do it again. Fais encore comme ceci. Do it again. Fais Ouvre là. Do. Ouvre là. How many abortions? Combien d'avortements? How many? Six, sir. I'm seeing six. Je vois six avortements. How many? Six, sir. Six? Yes, sir. That's why the enemy, the babies are not crying. Six the babies the are crying. I love you. They said you. They are not coming again. You killed us. We are no longer coming to you except a man of God that God called to touch you. If not, I saw him in my dreams. I saw him. You saw me. You give me eggs. Five eggs. Five eggs? Yes, sir. Five eggs? Yes, sir. Five eggs? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know why? Because of the sin that you have committed. Now the commis, children are crying. Oh, oh. we will not come again. You are seeing in your dreams. Yes, every, eh? day, yes, every day. Yes, Join the line. Join the group. Professor. The whole testament. Isaiah prophesied. And I, Jeremiah also prophesied. That a son must be born. He will be born. 
And the government will be upon his shoulder. And they will call him Emmanuel. And this thing surely come to pass many years. Thousands of years. Hundred thousands of years. When a prophet prophesied to a man, wait for the time. She did not give up. She seek, came for what is called, she come for the, I must carry him, and Samuel. In order to fast forward the prophecy. That's why prophecy, when a man gives you a prophecy, then you have to now, they, they sac those who sacrifice, they fast forward the, the, the things, the prophecy to manifest. Some prophecy prophesy to them, tomorrow it manifests. Some three, some medical doctors can try their best, but they cannot deny what God has said. Whatever thing that God has decreed is decreed through his prophets. Today, look at her. The sex of the baby. Baby girl. Baby girl. Now, how many eggs in the dream you carried given to me? Show me. Five eggs. Five eggs. Prophet for one more four babies. Yes. Prepare yourself for more four babies. More four babies. Four babies are coming. So join this one, making five. Because it is prophetic. Am I talking to somebody? Yes. Viewers all over the world. You. How do you feel? I feel very good. Because people call you name or they don't call you name. They do. They call you name. They What's call the me all sorts of names. Huh? They call me all sorts of names. Every. No, 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 no. All sorts of names they used to call you. You are like this. You are like this. Yeah, like, like, you know. If you are married and uh, your wife in the house is not pregnant, no, even if you go outside and pregnant somebody, they will say, say perhaps it's not him that impregnated the woman. So yeah. I had all of those talks. All those names? Yeah. Now, madam, how do you feel? I feel very good. I'm what you, okay. What do you have to tell the people that who are waiting for their time to come? My brothers years. and sisters. Some don't of them lose not, wait, wait, wait. Some of them not up to 16 years old. Some of them now 10 years. Some of them now four years. They, they began to spark. Four years on the run. Where are you going to? Don't run like that. 16 years. They came to God of a woman, woman. So now, what do you have to tell those people that who are there watching you? My brothers and sisters, don't lose hope. Run to God. He's the only solution. God is the only... Not doctors. Doctors can now get some people that go carry... Uh, this, go, go buy babies. Go buy... What are you buying? They want to go and now get a, a transplant and transplant fail with millions. Bring the millions here. I'll transplant spiritual to you. Prophesy. Prophesy. Certain capsule, Bisham capsule. When I started using this capsule, I've used almost a, a ten, a, a ten uh, sausage. To know I feel, I started to believe, look like skeleton. So then I called my wife. We left to several hospitals to know what actually happened to me because. Nobody can prove what is going on. I used a pin just to bust the boil, whether it was boiled, so the thing escalate. 
my mouth began to become very wide. So as a result, we left the hospital. So the mouth swelled up. On getting to the hospital, they took my x-ray, and then the doctor asked me to report the following day. On getting there the following day, the surgical doctor said that uh, this is a uh, cancer of the lip, that they are going to amputate it. I said, no, I cannot become a disabled at this age. I said, I'm going back. Then I demanded for my x-ray, they refused to give me. They refused to give me, I, I, tell, I tell my wife, let's go home. On getting home, my wife told me that, uh, won't I remember I'm a partner in Mercy Land? I said, that's a good idea. Let's go there. The following day, we left our local government and we come down here. I was on opportune in the following day to be arranged in prayer land, the land of solution and power. As if you are clapping for Jesus, I believe you can clap louder than your neighbor. So on, on partner day, partner prayer land. Later, the great man of God, Prophet Jeremiah Omoto Fufin, lay hand on me and pray. When he saw my mouth, he took the picture in my hand. He looked he look at my face. He, pour, he put his hand in certain, in certain uh, uh, anointing oil, put it on my head and my mouth, and then he made sign of cross before he left. So, we instantly, something left my body. I become very light. Power! I become you very can light. clap louder than that, people of God. Celebrate the God of our Papa. As a result, following money when we got to where we launched at the Mercy Land here, one office there. So I discovered that there was a sign of cross in my mouth. Say so, what is happening? Gradually the whole thing dry off. Power! People of God celebrate Jesus once again. Give him some praise in the house. And when we got, and when we got home, when we got home, friends who ran away from me before and brothers, they come to me. They went to know where I went to, to have this healing. I say, I'm from Omoto Fifin, the great man of God. Power! And you are just sitting like that. Wave your hands and give this God some praise. People have got to celebrate him for real. He deserves the worship. He deserves the praise. As a result of this, my illness, many people come to this metal land. My wife became an agent who piloted them down here overnight. I said, well, go with them. Help them. They went to receive their own healing also. So the whole thing, my whole house at that time, this my able wife tried a lot. If not, ah, I might not be here today to give this testimony. People of Oklahoma for Jesus once again. So, Daddy, ever since you received your healing, can you tell us the changes that's been taking place into your life? Do you still feel any pain in your mouth? And how are you now? I, I don't feel any pain again. I feel health, I healthy. No, no problem in my body. People of God, celebrate Jesus once again. Power. So, let's hear some few words from your wife. So, Ma, you're very much welcome. Tell us your name, where you come from, and what can you say about what this God of Prophet Jeremiah has done in the life of your husband? Mercy land. Arena of solution and power. Mercy land. Arena of solution and power. My name is Mrs. Obushemori. We are from Mondo State. We came from Mondo State. During this problem, it was very serious. It was serious. It, when the, when the, 
During the problem, all his friends ran away from him. Even my old friend, they ran away from him. They said because of the, the sickness, they can cut, people can contact it. They all ran away. No friends, no anybody. It was smelling. The whole house was smelling. So anytime a friend is coming, I will run into the room. I will bring perfume. I will spread the whole room, the whole house, the whole parlor, the whole room before they came in. I bought almost 15 perfume. Many fresh, uh, fresh uh, air freshness because of the odor. He cannot eat. He cannot drink water. If he drink water, he will be, the water will be dropping. He cannot use spoon, spoon to eat. So, I thank God for, for what man of God has done in our life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, man People of God. People of God, celebrate Jesus once again. Yes. As the man of God always say, he's not the healer. But is Jesus Christ the healer? And is Jesus Christ using him to restore lives today? And we thank God Almighty for what he has done. So ever since he received his healing, what are the changes you've been seeing in his life? Since he received his healing, he used to eat now. The food that he don't used to eat before, he used to eat it now. Power. He can swallow. He can drink water. Before man, he used to use straw to drink water. Straw, straw. Before he can drink water. Wow. People of God celebrate Jesus once again. So, Mama, for what this God has done in the life of your husband, what word of advice can you give to people who are hopeless, facing similar problems? What can you tell them? You are all over the world. There is God here. Come to mercy land. You will receive your healing and deliverance. People of God, give the Lord some round of applause once again. So we'll also hear some few words from the son. I believe he has something to say. Sir, you're very much welcome to Christ's Mercy and Deliverance Ministry. Tell us your name. And uh, what can you say about what the God of Prophet Jeremiah has done in the life of your father. Your father today is restored for, from mouth cancer. So what can you s tell us about that? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Oluwakayo de Olushola Emmanuel. Uh, to answer that question is simply amazing. First of all, I don't see myself coming this far and standing in the congregation like this, giving a testimony. But for this, I had no choice. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Actually, my father cut his shirt and um, a lot happened. God used me to sponsor all the finances, all the medical bills. I can tell you I know how much we spent. For the kind of healing that he came here and got free of charge. I just want to receive Power. all the glory to God. People of God, jump up on your feet. And shout hallelujah. Say it once again. Hallelujah. The God of our Papa is alive. Praise the Lord. Uh, just as I was saying, um, the greatest problem of a man is not sin. It's actually ignorance. Had we known that a place like this exists, that kind of money wouldn't have been spent. I'm not even regretting it because what God has done is just amazing. Because seeing my father, who happens to be a, a very strong man, became depressed. You know, everybody deserted him. The kind of, and I want to thank God for this amazing woman. No woman, as far as I can say, can stand with such a man. She stood by him, and I'm not even surprised for my father because he did sin for my mother before she passed on. My mother experienced something similar, but not this way. But he stood by her for two and a half years without living. So experiencing another good woman is just the glory of God. I just want to return all glory to God. People of God, clap for the Lord once again. So, people of God and viewers out there, we are about to watch right now the playback and see how our daddy came down to Mercy City and he was prayed for by the man of God. 
two and a half years you were suffering from this very problem and today the God of prophet Jeremiah has set you free what word of advice because there are many people there facing similar problem what can you tell them right now mercy land arena of solution and power my advice to the world is that uh, there is God here everybody must try to come here and see and receive their own healing as I receive my own today I, 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 I give glory to God, although I'm, I'm a partner, senior partner. So I'm happy. I'm happy. I don't doubt the power of the man of God here at all because it is written in Jeremiah 5, verse, 5 1 verse 5. What the type of people God sent to this world is one of them. If you go to that place, you know. That this man is not just an ordinary person. People of God, celebrate Jesus once again. Yes, our daddy is advising everybody to trust in the Lord God of Prophet Jeremiah. Whatever your problem, come down to Mercy City, the arena of solution and power. And Jesus Christ, our Lord, will locate you at the point of your need in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Nous remercions le Seigneur pour la vie de cet homme, cher Atézateur Laetitia, aujourd'hui avec ses membres de famille. Pour remercier le Seigneur pour ce qu'il a fait euh, dans sa vie. Il était affligé du cancer euh, de, au niveau de la bouche. Alors ceci l'a affecté pratiquement depuis deux ans et deux ans et demi, cher Atézateur. Alors malgré euh, les nombreux soins qu'il a eu à faire euh, par le passé, les médicaments qui ont été prescrits par les médecins, cela n'a pas toujours apporté de solutions tangibles à sa vie. Chez Ratisata, il était vraiment déprimé, et tel que sa femme a relaté, vraiment des odeurs nauséabondes dégagées de son corps. Alors il a dit que ceci a commencé comme un furoncle juste au niveau de la bouche, et ceci s'est développé en un problème cancéreux, et ceci l'a affecté énormément au quotidien, où il y avait des mauvaises odeurs de partout à la maison, ceci créait vraiment un d'embarras vis-à-vis des personnes qui venaient les visiter. Et ceci était un objet de tant d'humiliation, non seulement dans la vie de cet homme, mais sa famille tout entière. Alors, cher Réalisateur, jusqu'à ce qu'il puisse recevoir la prière de l'homme de Dieu. Et l'homme de Dieu a eu à prier pour lui à la ligne de prière. Et c'est alors que le Seigneur a vraiment mis un terme à ce problème. Aujourd'hui, il est totalement libéré du cancer. Et il est bien portant, sa bouche qui fut ouverte par le passé, par cette plaie, s'est totalement reformée pour la gloire de Dieu. Aujourd'hui, il est très bien portant pour la gloire du Seigneur. Apposons pour le Seigneur. So we thank God Almighty for what he has done into your life and let this wonderful testimony be permanent in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Mercy land. Arena of solution and power. Mercy land. Arena of solution and power. Mercy land. Arena of solution and power. My testimony goes like this. So my name is Mr. Bennett Osaiku. I'm from Delta State. From Delta State, I sat in a worry here. A woman beside me is my loving wife. My testimony goes like this. On last year, November 14th, I went to my work. So they called me that uh, one of our forklift used to load equipment to escravos. They say I have fought that they want me to check the forklift. So I went there to check and uh, find out the problem after I finish the forklift. I asked the operator to start it and they start it. I'm trying to cover the, the engine uh, cover and uh, the panel side when I open. The man just engaged the forklift and forklift climbed my leg for the vice. I was shouting the God of Jeremiah, God of Jeremiah. And I gauge it on the front again and match on the second one. And I just hear prak, 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 all my bone, all my bone was break. So they now rushed me 
to the hospital, this company hospital, and I take him to the company hospital. Then uh, the the now put me in the hospital, and the, the man said, and I put me on PP, treat me. Then my management manager went to ask the doctor that how long this man will walk again. He said the four months before I match this leg in the ground. Then one year before I start working normal as a woman be. The management said no. So they have to take me to wear the tie leg because they want me to be travel on general before to Kuwait. So they want the fast healing. They now take me to Abaro after Abaro, we call it Oropupo village. They take me there to tie the leg. And even when I'm the first time when I'm in the hospital, the man of God visited me there in the dream. And uh, he came with white, white, white and white, with white canvas in the hospital. Also, they take me there to the Abaro, to the Oropupo village. Also visited me in the dream again. He was directing the, the pup out to straight my, my bone. Even the daughter too. Power! If you are clapping, clap better to the glory of God. So, our brother, what happened along the line? Yeah, from there, I now decided to book for prayer line. So I came down here, book for prayer line, and uh, the man of God now came on me, walk on me, carry me on the back, was shaking me, shaking me, dancing, dancing. Even as the camera, to camera my leg where the injury is. After that, as he dropped me, and from that day, I started getting my healing. Power! If you are clapping, clap better to the glory of God. Look at them. Four people have my legs. Four clips. Shaggy leg. Yes, okay. Alright. How long? A month and two weeks. Let me see how you're walking now. Let's look at the spot. Let's look at the spot that was broken. Now, sir, we can see the spot. Are you feeling any pain again? No pain, no pain. No pain. Now you are completely healed to the glory of God. Can yes. we clap better for the glory of God? Can, can you do what you couldn't do before? Can you do what you could not do before? Like Just now, I can jump. I can walk well. I can okay. do so. okay, exercise. So, so, Power! We keep your clapping. Clap better to the glory of God for what the Lord has done for the life of our brother. It's not easy, you see. He said, for the benefit of the viewers out there, uh, this our brother leg was broken. And you know, it's a forklift operator. He walks in scrubbers and uh, it was an accident that happened. And you know what's the gravity of the problem? The forklift climbed his leg and he shouted the God of Jeremiah. And they said within a, within a period of a year before he could walk. But you can see because the grace of God of Jeremiah walks in the life of the man. And they said they saw him in the two, uh, two, uh, two occasions in the dream. And after then, now the leg is back to normal. Can you, can you give the Lord a clap of him? So, our brother, now the God of Jeremiah has healed you completely. What is your advice for viewers that are watching Mercy TV? Viewers all over the world, believe, your, believe God Almighty and believe your prophet. So you, are, you will get your answer. 
Alors cet homme se réjouit aujourd'hui du fait que le Seigneur va manifester miséricorde dans sa vie. Cher attestateur, euh, il était vraiment euh, dans une incapacité à pouvoir se déplacer dû à un accident qu'il a eu au lieu, dans son lieu de service et en effet il est électricien. Alors cher attestateur, dû à un problème technique, euh, son pied fut vraiment endommagé dû à cet accident. Alors et tel que nous voyons à l'écran, cher attestateur, son pied fut même plâtré. Alors, euh, et les médecins ont révélé qu'il fallait actuellement un an pour qu'il puisse euh, ne serait-ce qu'être capable de pouvoir encore marcher à nouveau. Alors, dû à ce problème, il avait vraiment des douleurs vraiment très aiguës au quotidien. Il était vraiment incapable de vaquer à ses occupations quotidiennes. Mais le Dieu de prophète Jérémie a fait miséricorde. Alors, il a dit que lorsqu'il était à l'hôpital, l'homme de Dieu l'a apparu juste en instruisant euh, le médecin de comment réajuster sa jambe. Et celle-ci s'est passée euh, deux fois, de façon consécutive, même jusque lorsqu'il a eu à visiter, euh, essayer de faire recours à la médecine traditionnelle. Alors, cher redoutateur, il a dit qu'il a vraiment pris ses décision de pouvoir recevoir la prière ici à Mercy City, à la ligne de prière où l'homme de Dieu a prié pour lui avec vraiment un cœur de compassion et l'homme de Dieu l'a porté et administré particulièrement dans sa vie, proclamé la guérison de notre Seigneur Jésus Christ qui a pris place dans sa vie instantanément et cela l'a libéré de toute douleur. Aujourd'hui, il est complètement libéré, il peut maintenant vaquer à ses actions quotidiennes, il peut s'exercer librement, faire librement ce qu'il ne peut pas faire avant. Apposons pour le Seigneur. Our brother, we rejoice with you. We pray may your testimony be permanent in Jesus' name. Amen. If you are clapping, clap better to the glory of God. Can I prophesy? Prophesy! Can I prophesy? Prophesy! Prophets give messages from God through prophecy to people. But the heart of man is full of dirt. But sometimes question the content of the prophecy. Forgetting what the scripture says in Isaiah 55 verse 10 to 11. For as the rain coming down and the snow from heaven and returning not thither but water the earth that it may and making it bring forth that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater so shall my word be that going forth out of my mouth it shall not return unto me void but it shall accomplish that which i pleased it shall prosper in the things where thou i send it the voice of the prophet is the voice of god whatever i speak must always come to pass with full proof and short testimonies but not always so with a prophet that is not truly called by God. But the prophet which has presumed to speak a word in my name, which have not commanded him to speak, or that shall speak in the name of other gods, even that prophet shall die. And if thou shalt say in the heart, how shall we know the words which the Lord God has not spoken? But when a prophet speaketh in the name of the Lord, if the thing follow not, not come to pass, that is the thing that the Lord hath not spoken. Prophet hath spoken it presumptuously. Thou shalt not be afraid of him. Prophet, don't presume. They speak with authority what the Lord has put in their mouth. God's servant, Senior Prophet Jeremiah Omotufu Fein, has spoken prophetically to different people at different occasions. Talking about their past, their present, and their future. But what comes after their prophecies is what matters. Thank God for being a true prophet. For every of his word he says must hear positive result in the lives of many that encounter him. In this program, the results, you will be seeing those that have come to receive prophetic message from the prophet, coming back to give their short testimony, the result of the prophecy. No wonder the psalmist said in Psalm 93 verse 5, that testimonies are very sure and they receive their short testimony. So no matter what you are going through in life, if the man of God prophesies to you, you must get your sure result, the result of the prophecy. Yet there is a prophet 
there is profit. That is the sure result. You can doubt the prophecy, but you cannot doubt the result. Prophesy!